we've discovered but we've got a sour easter coming through today of up to 30 knots live feed on predict wind is saying it's currently 12 so we've got to tuck away on the western side and have a fish up there for our three-day adventure we've loaded up on fuel and we've also got some huge squid baits and some old uh, albacore frames that we're going to try and drop and get some uh, donkey groper if we possibly can or some giant sharks but we're also going to have a, a solid mission and try a few new tactics to try and get some really big snapper so what we're trying for is the 25 to 30 pound snapper so I've come up with a few tricks and well me and Holman have come up with a couple of tricks we're going to try and try and crack that uh, 25 pound well get past 25 pound on a big snapper we've got two and a half days to well yeah three days basically to have a go at it so Let's catch some giant snapper and grover. We are mega hoping to get some big snapper. Something over 23 would be pretty cool, over 22. But uh, anything over 25 would be amazing. Plenty of good sign today. And the weather's not too bad. It's uh, meant to be a sour easter of 30 knots. It was pretty bad coming up through uh, the bottom end of Durval, but up the top here now we're sort of hidden away. Uh, from the breeze and it's sort of dying off a bit. Uh, we just hooked up. Uh, this guy was on the bottom for probably a good three or four minutes, wasn't he, Go? Couldn't get out, just couldn't move him. He was solidly on the bottom. And uh, now I'm starting to make some leeway on him. I'm on blue now. So I'm using my little 1000 Stella, Shimano Diluna, and uh, yet yeah, Cohen, we're gonna need to uh, yes. reverse. We're up to yellow now, so he might be coming up. Mega side. Oh, here you are, out the back. Look at that, look at that. Oh, holy shit. Hey. Bring him in. Please. Yeah. Hoen on the helm. Captain Hoen. Captain Hoen. How is that for a snapper? We've come out pretty much purposely trying to target bigger fish, uh, especially sort of trying to get that 25 pounder. Uh, we weighed him, he's 23. Uh, that was such an awesome battle. It took ages to even get him off the, get him off the bottom actually. So we knew it was a good fish. Finally got him up off the bottom, landed him, 23 pounds. But have a look at that fish. And that is on our new favorite lure, the black Baku Baku. And that was a 150 gram. A lot of, quite deep water, a lot of current, so those bigger lures. Uh, and the Baku's are streamlined, so they get down a lot better. Probably about three o'clock in the afternoon. Coey's just hooked up. It's been pretty quiet, actually. We're going to a couple of spots. Holland's landed a couple of good fish and dropped a couple of good ones as well. He might actually have a good one on here now. No. Nah. No. Nah. He's coming up pretty easy now. There's some epic sign today. Epic sign, eh, Howie? How big's that snapper, dude? Little penny? Holland's got a little penny. 
Um, one tip I'll give you with your sounders, and this is a classic thing, and I actually uh, heard this today um, when we were leaving the shop, is back up your waypoints, uh, which is pretty easy to do. Um, I might actually do a video on uh, how to back up your waypoints, but that is a key thing. So many people, and quite often, if you've got the sounder on and you turn off the mains or the power, you'll factory reset your unit. Um, it doesn't always happen, but sometimes it can conflict and you'll just uh, lose all your waypoints. And a couple of buttons, and once you know how to do it, uh, saving your waypoints uh, will save all that hard effort and time that's taken you to get those marks. Just wait for me to do, um, do oh, drop, dude, just fish. Just fish. Look at the sign, Howie. Why don't you do that later and fish? Yep. Yeah? No. Lost it. Oh, this the spraying one. Yep, back. Back again? What colour baku? Whack. I dropped it again. Dropped it. Damn it. Holland's favourite colour oh, is the black. Back, back. It's a black baku. He's chopping, losing, catching, missing. They are all over it. I don't think they're all over it because you're not hooking them. They're often over it, just not eating it. Oh, come on, Harwin. You're only lying to yourself. <laughs> so, a pretty good Arvo. We just got another, um, we just got another uh, good fish. I think that was probably around about a 12 pounder. Maybe a bit bigger. And I just tip wrapped. That wind has dropped right off now, and it's mint out here. Getting into dusk, we're getting into bite time, but uh, pretty happy with that 23 pound snapper. He fought like a true champ. That was an awesome battle. We're actually drifting a lot better now. Plenty of fish around, plenty of sign. Hooking up seems to be the issue. Dropping a lot of fish. But we're getting a few cooter as well, so that's probably part of the problem. Oh, he's back in. I'll get the helm, dude. Don't lose this one, eh? My good one. So I was just uh, jigging away, and I realised why I was looking at the colour, and I was on yellow, and I'm like, well, that's only 60 metres, and we're fishing about 80 metres. Looked on the sounder, and you could see I was jigging mid water. What do you got? I think I've got the bottom, Howen. Real bottom. Real bottom. Okay, so that was my uh, my uh, mistake, midwater jigging. So that's uh, that's. Uh, just explain the film story. Yeah, I was showing you guys the um, the screen where I was midwater jigging, and then in that time I was letting the line out, and I got the bottom now. <laughs> So I've got a snaggle puss, which I'm going to have to bust off. No reverse, Howie. No reverse. No reverse. Right. I'm going to have. I'm going to have to bust it. Are you sure? Yep. Note to self: one tip: uh, don't jig your lures for snapper in 50 meters of water when you're in 80 meters of water, because I don't think you're going to get a snapper. Uh, that's quite funny though. Hey, I was chicken for ages. You can see the line on the sounder. So that was probably a good five minutes of slow chicken and Khan's getting bites and hookups and I'm like, why am I getting anything? <sighs> Classic Mark. One serious tip though I will give you guys, whenever you're using a lure, whatever lure, new lures, whatever, best thing to do and best way to understand the lure is drop it in the water just over the side of the boat and uh, just slow jig it. So just put it in the water just move the rod up and down, flicking it and getting, and just trying to work out the best action for that lure. So any lure you get, any type, drop it in the water. Just just spend a little bit of time, just a minute or two, mucking around with that lure, and you'll find the best action for it. And then that's what you want to apply when you drop it to the bottom. And massive amount of snapper blowers today. But that's why you don't hook them, guys. Because I was 30 meters up off the bottom. Right, serious now, we're going to catch some fish. Last light now. Howie's hooked back up. 
Uh, oh, it's a good fish. Oh, I better get the camera on him, actually. He wants to swim away. He wants to swim away. I better get the camera on him. He's a cracker. You want the neck to him, guys? That's a good one, dude. That's a red eye. Yeah. How big you reckon? Oh. 13? 13 pounds? Yeah. Than that. Oh, we'll see. We'll weigh it. It's another nice fish, dude. Yeah, cracker. Can we go past all that sign. No. That We're cool. in, um, that was before. Uh, late afternoon. Oh, he's been dropping. He just dropped the donkey then. Basically, you know when you get a good snapper, if it sits on the bottom like a snag and takes a bit for it to actually realise it's hooked. Generally, that's a big snapper. The secret is not to rush it. Take your time, enjoy the fight and get them up. And you want your driver to stay vertical too, straight straight up and down above your line. And that way you can turn his head and get him up off the bottom. But if you just sit going on an angle and get him right out the back, he'll reef you. So stay above him. So pretty much what we do is, if someone hooks up, the other person pulls in the line and just drives. Stop, Howie, stop! I'm on green. What colour? Oh, have I been miles away from the bottom all this time? I'm having a mere. I think I've been mid-water jigging pretty much 50% uh, of the day today. Because I've hit the bottom now. What's the colour? Well, using, um, I've been using a 120. It's been way too light, so I went to a 150. Now I've uh, hitting the bottom. Owen's been using the white baku, white and blue sardine. And it's been dominating. We've, we've pretty much worked out. During the day, the old black buckles uh, does damage. And then, uh, sort of late evening, early morning, using that uh, brighter colours, so the orange or the white sardine. We're heading somewhere else today. We're doing another drift. This whole time, I've not been fishing close to the bottom. But I don't know how it's not getting down. Yeah, well, I'm fishing green. What are you doing? Right, me and Hoenn have uh, parked up for the night. That was a pretty good uh, snapper session for the evening. It was a bit slow, plenty of snapper there, but we just dropped a lot of fish. I'm not sure why. But that good fish was 23 pounds, so I'm stoked about that. We wanted to try and get some monsters. Tomorrow's plan is, what's our plan tomorrow? Uh, going wide, yeah. first thing? Yeah. So we're gonna go for some puka, and we're gonna use some whole bonito. We just filleted that barracuda we caught, so we're gonna use a half a slab of that each, and we've got giant squid as well. So tomorrow's plan, if the weather permits, we are going very wide for hopefully some giant puka. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. Right, morning guys. We're um, having a quick snap of fish and we're also trying to get some cooter, fresh cooter for Puka Bay. So like I said in the past, you definitely want different uh, baits. Don't ever put two of the same baits on. Try and change your baits up because Puka are quite fussy. But Coey's just got our first snapper. Show him your snapper, Howie. Ah, Did you say something like, oh. that's my first fish of the day, guys. <laughs> My first fish of the day, guys. <laughs> this is what I gotta work with. But we're fishing. Right, it's uh my first fish for the day. How many? 20 meters away. First fish of the day. Uh dropped the cracker before and we got this guy coming up. Yeah, that's a cracker fish. There we go. 
boy. Dirty oh, snapper. Jesus. What's up with that? He's got to be up around 20, doesn't he? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> There's a donkey. Yeah. Okay, that's the first fish of the day for me. I'm pretty stoked with that. <laughs> I reckon. That's awesome. We dropped a couple, but landed this guy. Reckon we see if we let him go. Should He's not it. bloated. We might try and let this guy go. Yeah, yeah, it can do if you want to. Oh, well, that was a successful release anyway. He uh, he went back pretty good, that big guy. So happy about that. He powered off. Uh, we're just getting ready now. We're going to go wide for a groper. Uh, the problem is it's hard leaving here because there's so much snapper sign. Ah, oh, it's just stacking up. Look at it up here, ho. It's just loaded. Look at that. Can forward? So that was a, a first drop, a double hook up on Kings. Oh, he's got quite a good one. Mine was pretty small. He's got lines across. So that's a good start for Kingy fishing. We bailed on going wide because it's uh, doing about 12, 13 knots out there now, and it's pretty lumpy. So we turned around and came back, and it just was pretty bad on the way back straight away. It's got a bad start to the day. Head on the way down. Alright, that was uh, Kingy, Kingy number three. Pretty good start for the Kingy stuff. <laughs> there he goes. That was feeble. Flasty little. Ah. way to get it. <laughs> Jigged right up off the bottom. What a breath of God. Oh he's a beggar. Lock it, Poey. Lock it up. You get your gimbal and your gloves like I said? Yep, they're all on. They didn't look like your gloves are on. Oh no, nothing's on. So he didn't listen to me about being ready. 
and he's getting dominated. You right? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Do you want to go around towards him? Are you right? Uh, I'll just leave it low enough. It's good he's outside. Good thingy, dude. Yeah. I've seen That's them. a very good thingy. Do you want me to punch him around? You're only you're shallow. Do you want me to punch around that way? Get yeah, some right. line on him? Have you right, mate? Have you right? Yeah, go on. It's trying to get it on him now, anyway. Look up, I'm bring around. Hold on. Can you see he's sitting in his chair? It makes it better. How far out? Uh, oh, yeah. oh. Smoking it. It is a good thingy. We're going to keep him up, man. We're going to keep him up. Do you want a gimbal? No, I'll split You sure? Yeah. I can put I can strap the one on you. Holy hell. <laughs> this is a <laughs> good kingy man. Gotta go mate, go! Oh, God. Give it <laughs> death. I'm giving you this, this is a bit <laughs> torture. Go. Is that you farting? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Don't squeeze cheese. <laughs> it's hard work, right? Want to water anything? <sighs> We're reverse. Not go that angle. Well, it's hard. Hard. It's so hard, it's so long out there. Keep it in your gimbal. Come on, dominate him, turn him. You right? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Uh, you're right. Here he is. This Kiggy. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, the neck. Get him in the park. <laughs> yeah. That is a giant Kiggy that we need to sort real quick. Dude, what a monster! Where's he at? 135. Holy! Ah. Tuck him up. I don't know if I can lift him. <laughs> Those boys are clapping. Holy, that wrecked me, bro. That's what we came for. Oh, fuck. Smile says it all. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, chuck him back. Just on back. Ah, fire out. 
getting dominated here. Back in. Good fish, mate. <laughs> there you go, guys. Happy with that. I'll release him. We can go back in. What a trooper. Thanks, mate. You gave me a battle from now. Oh. And again, bruh. Where did you put your gimbal on? Oh, I think it's small. I didn't pull on. I've got that stick on. Don't believe him. Yeah. That was another good one. Oh, he trenched the camera too. Classic scenario. That was a good fight, quick. Yeah. All right. Got another boat just copying us now. They saw what we're doing. Not a bad thing, but. Right, so me and Hoey have made our way out into the middle of Cook Strait, and you know you're a long way out when you got a big uh, ships cruising past you. This guy we've had to just uh, duck. It's quite a big ship, and we are right out in the middle of uh, Cook Strait right now. And we're going to our super secret spot for giant groper, or actually any size groper to be fair. Right, so we just made it uh, out to Baku route. You on? Yeah. Oh, he's on already. Really? Oh, I'm getting bites too. So we've named this spot Baku Baku Reef. Basic, oh man, holy. We've got serious baits on too. We're not even mucking around. Like I said, guys, two different baits. Don't use the same boat, baits gropering. Oh, he's on his way up and don't know what he's got. What do you reckon, ho? Uh, no, no. Something tiny. Oh, not, not. Really on those baits? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I dropped them. No, in. Yeah, definitely in. Oh, wow. Oh, I, lost my... I lost my good bait. Oh, this is struggling. Okay, my electric struggling. Oh, stalled. Stalled. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, we've got issues here. It's uh, it might be manual actually, or something's going on. Whether my battery shorting or oh, something's severely gone pear shaped. Really. Whatever I've got, stripping line, battery. Oh no! This sounds terrible. Yeah. I think your motor's cracked out. I think my motor's just cracked out. Oh, oh. So you've, dead, you've got a dead battery. Yeah, the battery shouldn't be dead, it's charged. At least the battery's shat out. Do you want to swap over to mine? Uh, What's your penis, feet? Okay, we might have a battery failure. Powered up. Oh yeah. That's a shitty battery. Yeah. I think I've got a crappy battery. You see a crappy connection on it? Yeah, I think so. It's a bit bent, but it's sound battery. Yeah. We've got a battery icon. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a, a pooker because it uh, hasn't done a lot. Should we go back down? Should you? Yeah. You can do. Uh, where are we on the drift? Nah, 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 not yet.
Okay, well, baits weren't big enough. I don't know if I've got a giant on here, but let's have a look. What do we got, Howie? Uh, extender. One groper. Groper! He likes squid. Right, he took a bit of squid. Right, we're going to go for tuna. Come some slack, my friend. Um, you're going to want yours for your leaky, aren't you? Hey? Oh. Oh. Alright, he's a decent hooker. Right, so my battery's dead. So I'm going to go Stella. Go manual on a Stella. I'm gonna man it up. Keep an eye on my bait. What? Keep an eye on my bait. Oh, with the birds? Yeah. Holy smokes! Okay, we are not mucking around, we've got huge baits. Right. Right, that's awesome. First drop, that's the first hooker. Happy with that. Right, I'm going Stella on the next one. The new Stella 10,000 and the new Grappler game type from Shimano. So I'm going Stella. I'll probably have to join you after that. You are going to join me. Oh. Electrics are, we've got a good spot, but we're still using electrics. In our defense, we're a little bit shattered actually. Uh, some pretty good kingies. We didn't actually film any of the kingies beforehand too. We got about five before that. We were jigging. How far are you? 30. And it's a cracker. Good talking, did he? Stay okay. away from his own nose, Howie. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. That's why he's so angry. That's why he's so angry. You're fondling his own nose. Oh my god, you're a heavy bass. Oh. Hi, I'm Cohen and I <laughs> caught a hello, Europa. Hello, nah, stoked with us. Hey, big fella. Right, so that's a, a squid bait on one and a tuna frame on the other. And they are no small bait. Stellar away. Right, we are on the way down with a ginormous bait. And uh, we're dropping right, we're dropping right into the sign. Right, on the bottom. Oh, bottom went by. You and already. We're not quite where I want us to be. Alright, we're getting close. Getting, pulling into that sign now. Oh, you're on. Oh, 
dropped them. Yeah, well, I hooked up. Oh, he just dropped his. Can't believe the size baits we're using. This is no monster pooker though, but I can't believe it actually ate those size baits. But I guess they can inhale them. To be fair, this has been one of the best trips I've been on for a long time. Me and Howie has smashed it so far, it's been good. Good pooker, good kingfish, and good snapper. And we've still got tonight, well, the rest of today and tomorrow. Problem is, we don't want any more fish. We've got plenty of that. Have I got them or have I lock drop them? Oh. Drop them. Drop them. Come on to the camera. Yeah. We'll get, get a shot of him. <laughs> it looks cool. Well, that's well, I lost that guy. Oh well, got it. Cancel that. He's out the back, right there. Oh no. Uh oh. The Molly Hawk's gonna go and get him. Watch this. Yep, Molly Hawk one on him. He's gonna start pecking any minute. What do we have here? Oh yes, too. <laughs> Look at him tentatively picking away at it. Another drop. At least one more. You want to get one the Stella too, don't you? Yeah. Drop this. Stripping a lot though, is he? No. Put him in the same drag you had for the arm. Um... <laughs> nah. Um, but, uh, a lot. Oh, he's hooked up. He's got the stellar 18,000. Really good to go. Uh, spec weaver. Bar? No. We got two, that's why. <laughs> oh no, just one big one. Oh, a shark as well. A shark and a pooker. What a combo. What a combo. Oh, he's a good one too. Yeah. What are we going to do with a shark? Probably let him go. Nah, it's just a big pack. Oh! That was close. God, he's making a mess of the whole bloody whole system, isn't he? Yeah. Right, we finished grouping. Uh, Holland landed another crack of groper on the Stella. 
Uh, we ended up with five. A couple there that he got were um, good ones. And uh, we're just making our way back, gutting them. And uh, we had tuna jumping out in front of us. Didn't have any small lures, only big stick baits. I've cast a couple of stick baits and uh, that put them down. There's heaps going on out here. And there's definitely uh, tuna below us. But we're gonna make our way in now and uh, I'm not sure we're gonna get up to for the afternoon. Maybe uh, try for a big kingy or maybe a big snapper. Late afternoon, Hoi, uh, actually we came in, had a muck around for a kingfish, had a go for a snapper, it's been pretty quiet. Chilling out this afternoon, the snapper haven't been playing ball. Hoi's just got a good one. Didn't say it was good, but it's been stripping some lines, so we think it might be a cracker. We'll see how it plays out. Hold can. Look at hurry. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. she blows. Might be good. Oh, oh is that a bubble? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a cracker. Oh, me. Yeah, it's a good fish. Change the camera, that's a cracker. Hey. That's a good fish. That's awesome fish. All right, morning guys. Uh, I have to apologize for the camera work today. Uh, I, uh, classic me, I didn't recharge the batteries from last time. So I've gone back to the Canon 600. You have to manually focus, which it doesn't really want to do. So uh, I'm gonna try my best to get some good footage today, but uh, we might be struggling with this camera. I've got the new, Garmin, uh, the new Garmin camera to try anyway. So I might give that a crack and use that for a bit of the filming. But uh, we're just going to go for a king at first light today and uh, something different. We're just getting organised now and we'll uh, start having a go for a kingy. Right, we're having one of the most uh, epic days fishing, or a couple of days fishing we've ever had. We've been smashing and getting smashed by giant kings today. Uh, unfortunately, I can only really show you deck cam footage because the batteries are gone on all my other main cameras. I've got this camera here, the 600D, which is probably well out of focus. Uh, I'll try and film with it, but it's pretty well shot though. We've uh, made it home from uh, what was probably one of the coolest trips we've uh, done. Yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that. We landed some Donkey Kings, uh, some Wicked Snapper, and some good Groper as well. So uh, if you've watched this vlog, thanks for joining us on the vlog. And uh, me and Hoan will see you next time.